Hi, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about cloak or in Malay, pakaian. But before I begin, for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. For those of you who still not clear yet what is informal pronunciation, please watch my number 53 video, which is about confusing pronunciation. Cloak is pakaian. However, for speaking, we just say baju. But normally, baju refer to upper part, like shirt or blouse. But in general, it's also refer to pakaian or cloak. So, we start with the first one, slippers. So, slippers in Malay is selipa. Selipa. But normally, people say slipper. Slipper. Number two, boots. So, boots in Malay is Kasut boot. Kasut boot. So, kasut is shoe. Boot is refer to the boots. Number three, sport shoes. In Malay, kasut sukan. Kasut sukan. So, kasut is shoes and sukan is sport. So, sport shoes, kasut sukan. Number four, socks. So, socks is sarung kaki or Another one is stocking. Stocking. But normally people don't say stocking. We all say stocking. Stocking. So you will see in store, there's many misspelling regarding the word stocking. Or we actually spell it stocking. But somehow, sometimes sarung kaki, we don't really say for socks because sarung kaki normally refer to hosiery or the tiny layer of socks. That's normally what we call sarung kaki. But for normal, regular socks, we call stocking. Stocking. But the spelling is stocking. Stocking. So if you want to say it's a long socks, then you say stocking panjang. Stocking panjang. And if it's a short one, then you say stocking pendek. Stocking pendek. So panjang refer to Long and pendek refer to short. Number five, hosiery or stocking. Then this is what we call also in Malay, stocking or stocking or sarong kaki. Sarong kaki. Sarong is like wrap and kaki is feet. It's either refer to this hosiery or also like same fabric but up to knee length or thigh length or even up to the calf length but with this kind of fabric which has similar color like the skin tone then we call sarung kaki number six shoes shoes kasut kasut number seven sarung lengan sarung lengan this is normally people wear in the car to avoid the sunburn or muslim women wear to cover their arms in a proper way. So we call sarung lengan. Sarung is wrap, lengan is arm. Number eight, sarung tangan. Sarung tangan. So sarung tangan refer to glove. So sarung is wrap, tangan is hand. And then we have handkerchief. So in Malay, sapu tangan. Sapu tangan. So sapu is swipe, tangan is hand. So handkerchief is sapu tangan. And then 11, back tangan. So back tangan is handbag. And Malay also prefer to use the word handbag compared to back tangan. Number 12, shorts. Shorts in Malay is seluar pendek. Seluar pendek. Seluar refer to like pants. It's a general word. So, pendek is short. So, shorts seluar pendek. Number 13, undershirt or singlet. Normally, Malay also like to call singlet or baju dalam. So, baju is shirt in general. Dalam is in. So, inner shirt, something like that. Or some people also call anak baju. Anak baju. Anak refer to son or daughter, right? So, Anak baju is how we call also our inner shirt. And then we have tank top. Tank top in Malay also we call singlet. So basically in Malay, if something like this, then you call singlet. 
Number 14, bra. Actually, it's from the word brazi, but nobody call it like that. People just call bra, it's in English. In Malay, people normally say bra also. Or another word is choli. But choli is too like, not that polite for people to call. Some people think like that. Bra also like too direct. So, if people don't want to be too direct, then they say baju dalam. Baju dalam. So, baju dalam is the most polite way to say bra for certain people. Number 15, skirt. Malay also call skirt. But if it's long skirt, then we say skirt panjang. Skirt panjang. Panjang is long. Or another word refer to long also for clue. Labo. Skirt labo. And then pendek. Skirt pendek, right? Short skirt. So, pendek is short. So, skirt pendek or skirt sengkat. Normally, we prefer to use the word sengkat when we want to have some desired length. But we don't just get to that point. So, we say sengkat. You know, we want something more. Labu, something like that. Number 16, kain sarung. So, kain sarung, we have kain batik. This is normally for women. And kain pelikat for men. Kain is actually cloth, sarung is wrap, right? So, we call this kain sarung. But for further explanation, I will explain in other video. Number 17, coat. So, in Malay also coat. So, in English, we have overcoat. So, in Malay, you call it coat panjang. Coat panjang. So, panjang is long. Number 18, tie. So, tie is tali lehe. Tali lehe. Tali is actually rope. Lehe is neck. So, tali lehe refer to tie. Number 19, kain sembahyang. Kain sembahyang. So, kain is cloth. Sembahyang is praying. So, it's actually praying cloth. This is normal for people here to wear praying cloth. When they are praying. So, certain people even think that it is compulsory. But it is not compulsory. If you already wear proper clothes, then you don't even need this kain sembahyang. But we wear it because we don't really reach that guideline of covering properly. So, that's why we use praying clothes. So, to be proper when we pray. Number 20, songko. Songko is... In English also, I think we call it songko because this is something like traditional. And if you want to call it in English, it's like Malay cap. So, songko is commonly Malay men wear or Muslim men wear for praying or to attend the mosque or any religious event. Number 21, same function also like songko but it's called kopiah. Kopiah. Some people also prefer to use kopiah than songko because kopiah you can fold it. Songko is not easy foldable just like kopiah. So kopiah is maybe similar like kipa for Jewish and the name also quite similar. And also kepi which refer to the French military cap. So when you combine the kipa and kepi then you have the kopiah. Number 22, serban. Serban. This is the kind of turban where Muslim men also prefer to wear for religious events or for praying. So this is serban. But serban also means like for example you sitting for a long time and then suddenly you feel like cramp. That's also we call serban. Or sometimes we call it semut semut. Semut is actually end. So semut semut. That's about serban. Now we move on to number 23, topi keleda. Topi keleda is helmet. So number 24, topi. Topi can be either hat or cap. So both are accepted. For Malay, it's just topi. For English, you have to differentiate between those two. Number 25, belt. So belt is tali pinggang. Tali pinggang. So, tali is rope, pinggang is waist. So, tali pinggang is belt. Number 26, seluar panjang. Seluar panjang. So, seluar panjang is long pants or some call it trousers. So, seluar is pants in general. 
Panjang is long. So, seluar panjang. And then we have raincoat. So, raincoat in Malay is baju hujan. So, baju is clothes in general or shirt. Hujan is rain. So, raincoat is baju hujan. But coat is coat in Malay. But we prefer to call it baju hujan. Not coat hujan. Okay. And then, gown. Gown, we also like to call gown or dress. So, if you want to say it's a long dress or long gown, then you call gown panjang or dress panjang. Panjang refer to long. And also, pendek. Pendek is short. So, gown pendek or dress pendek. Number 29, pyjamas. Baju tidur. Baju tidur. So, baju is clothes. Tidur is sleep. So, baju tidur. And then number 30, we have baju kelawa. So, baju kelawa. Kelawa is actually bad. This is really cultural thing here. If you want baju kelawa, you may buy it. So, baju kelawa, you can have long sleeve and also short sleeve. But normally people wear short sleeve. Why people wear baju kelawa is quite decent. Especially if you have guests at home. And then it's actually comfortable also for you. And then number 31, baju besi. Baju besi. So, baju is cloth. Besi is iron. Number 32, t-shirt. So, t-shirt also we call t-shirt. But in Malay, if you translate, t-shirt, it will be kemeja. But kemeja refer to other type of cloth, which I'm going to show later. But this one t-shirt, Malay also say t-shirt. And then number 33, jubah. So, jubah is rope. Normally, in Arabic, we call it abaya. Abaya, but abaya is not really common word here. Some people say abaya, some people don't. But normally, people will say jubah. Jubah can be for men and can be for female. Just different pattern. Number 34, underwear. So, underwear or panty or brief. Is seluar dalam. Seluar dalam. So, seluar is pants in general. Dalam is in. So, like inner pants is underwear or brief. So, seluar dalam. Some people call spender. Spender. Okay, this is like slang word. Spender. So, you will hear too. You can either say both of them. Seluar dalam or spender. Both are accepted. Number 35, petticoat. So, petticoat is kain dalam. So, kind refer to cloth or skirt. Dalam is inner. So, it's like inner skirt. Petticoat is kain dalam. So, women normally wear it, wear the kain dalam if they think their normal cloth is transparent. So, to make it not transparent, then they wear kain dalam. So, number 36, kemeja. English also says shirt. So, this is what we call kemeja in Malay. So, when you talk about kemeja, you have something like lengan panjang, long sleeve. So, kemeja lengan panjang, long sleeve shirt. So, long is panjang, lengan is sleeve or arm. And then, we have kemeja lengan pendek. Kemeja lengan pendek. So, in English, short sleeve shirt. So, kemeja is referred to this kind of shirt. Lengan is sleeve or arm. Pendek is short. And if it's without the lengan, so we call it sleeveless shirt, right? So, in Malay, kemeja tanpa lengan. So, tanpa is without, lengan is sleeve or arm. But normally, for informal speaking, people don't like to say kemeja tanpa lengan. It sounds too formal. So, we say kemeja tak ada lengan. So, we use the word tak ada. Tak from the word tidak, which means not. De from the word ada actually, which means have. So, combine become tiada. So, tiada and then for speaking tak ada. So, kemeja tak ada lengan. Number 37. Tudung. Tudung is actually general word, just like hijab. Okay? How people say hijab for everything, we say tudung for everything. Normally, tudung really in general. Tudung can refer to the scarf, 
tudung can refer to the selendang or normal jilbab, you know. So that's tudung. So we have something we call anak tudung. Anak means son or daughter, right? So anak tudung means like the small tudung which we cover our head. Normally we wear it under the tudung uh, to keep our hair because the point of wearing tudung is you're not showing your hair, your neck and also must be lower parts than your bosom. That's actually the real meaning of hijab. So some people don't want if they wear tudung and then the hair can be seen. So they wear anak tudung. Anak tudung. Number 38, selendang. So selendang is scarf. Scarf. And then we have turban. So Sikh also wear turban. The Sikh men here wear turban. And Malay and also other races also like to wear turban just to protect the hair. But some people, some Malay women like to wear turban also because they find it easier compared to wearing other kinds of tudung. So turban for them is like tudung. And then jilbab. Jilbab is this kind of jilbab. If you say jilbab, for us, this is the jilbab. Okay, very big one and very covered. And then number 41, we have burda or niqab. Normally, people more comfortable using the word purda compared to niqab. Number 42, burka. Burka. This is not that common in Malaysia. Even if people wear, they prefer to wear the purda compared to the burka. Number 43, jeans. So, in Malay also we call jeans. Number 44, sweater. So, sweater, sometimes some people call it baju sejuk. Sometimes people call it baju panas, but baju sejuk is more common to call than baju panas. Sweater, we normally wear it when it's cold, so that's why we call baju sejuk. Baju sejuk-sejuk is cold. And why some people call it baju panas? Because it makes you feel hot and panas is hot. And then 45, jacket. Same pronunciation but different spelling, jacket. Number 46, bikini. So, in Malay also, we call bikini. Number 47, burkini. Or some people just call baju renang muslimah. Baju renang muslimah. So, baju renang or pakaian renang, you know it's a swimsuit. Pakaian renang is swimsuit, right? So, pakaian renang or baju renang muslimah refer to the covered one from top to two. Okay, we move on to swimsuit. Swimsuit is pakaian renang or People just call baju renang. Oh, if it's refer to just pants or swimming trunks, then you call it seluar renang. And then number 48, pregnant clothes. So pregnant clothes is baju mengandung. Actually, pakaian mengandung, right? But we prefer to call it for speaking baju mengandung. Mengandung refer to pregnant, the word pregnant. So it's mengandung. The root word is ngandung. But nobody say ngandung. People prefer to use Baju mengandu. Well, I guess that's all our lesson for now. Thank you very much for watching me. And if you like my video, please check out my Patreon page so that I can have more time to make more videos. For those of you who support me through this medium, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who's watching me right now, thank you very much also. And till we meet again then. Bye.